There is a theory that whatever gains international investors make by putting their money overseas in stock markets in other countries will be wiped out by currency movements against them. It's called uncovered equity parity. It's long been the bane of international investors, but good news. Richard Payne at Cass Business School has disproved this theory. Richard Payne joins me now. Richard, how, how, how did you do this? What's the news? Yeah, that's right. We've been looking at um, a wide cross-section of currencies or countries, maybe 40 or so, and a long time, 25 years. And we've been analysing whether um, if you make international equity investments, whether your ability to predict stock markets around the world tells you anything about how exchange rates move. So as you said in your intro, um, there's some theory out there that tells us that if, if we expect, for example, the US stock market to go up relative to the Japanese stock market, then we might go long the US and short Japan. And the theory tells us that if we do do that, we might expect the exchange rate to move against us so that our returns from the equity investment are, are wiped out by currency returns. Um, our results show systematically that this is not the case, that there is no relationship between predicted equity returns or realized equity returns and currency movements. So from an international investor's perspective, the returns that you make on your equity investments are not eroded by currency movements and you end up making positive returns. So the good news for international investors is there is money to be made. Um, I, would, I would kind of turn that around a bit. The violation of other people's theory, uh, the fact that we've shown that the uncovered equity parity theory doesn't work, means that there's money to be made. That if you are an international equity investor, you can earn cash consistently and not worry about the effect of currency movements on your portfolio return expressed in your own currency. The big problem for international investors is that currency movements do pose probably the biggest risk to equity investments. Is there a strategy following your research that investors can use to protect themselves? Well, one interpretation of our results is that as an international equity investor, you don't really need to worry so much about currency risk. Um, if you're, if you're um, using kind of standard performance metrics, for example, sharp ratios, then the sharp ratio you earn in, in local currency is the same as the sharp ratio you earn in domestic currency. And so, you know, there's, there's little, little um, reward or little gain to be made from uh, currency hedging. So final question, do stock markets tell us anything at all about currency movements? Well, our research suggests that there's nothing <laughs> on average that stock markets tell us about exchange rates in the cross-section. Richard Payne, thank you very much.